Martin, we'll see. Believe it or not, I'm still Shane McGalley. And I'm David Keener. And this is the Hourlings Podcast Project. Season four, we're back. Uh, we've kind of taken a hiatus uh, for the last six months or so. We've had good reasons. We've had good reasons. For me, most notable, um, six months ago, I had a heart attack. It kind of like cut into everything. And uh, emergency surgery and one of those fancy shiny stents in the whole enchilada. So it kind of... Uh, uh, you know what? No, I want to give Marty a little more credit. We would have still done the podcast episode like from the hospital if we had wanted to. Marty was like ready, like he was good to go. So I don't, I don't, I don't buy that for one second. I'm going to say think... that the real reason that we stopped is because we replaced it with weekly accountability meetings, which actually kicked our butts more and was more productive. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, I, I, I agree. So, this is the first uh, podcast of season four, first podcast of uh, 2024. And uh, so today we're going to look at our goals for 2023, see how we did. Um, that episode, uh, you can actually look up. I'll put it in the description. And uh, then we're going to talk about our, our goals briefly for 2024. So I guess I'll go first. Let's see. My goals for 2023. Uh, uh, first and foremost was uh, three novels published. Um, well, that didn't work out so well for me. I uh, I had a hell of a year. In January, I um, uh, crashed my mountain bike. I uh, shattered my collarbone, dislocated my shoulder, and broke two ribs. And then had to ride my mountain bike a couple of miles off the mountain to get back to my truck to go to a hospital a hospital that I didn't know where it was located and I had no cell service. That was quite the adventure. My wife was not pleased. Anyways, um, so that that crash uh, took me out for like the first six weeks of the year. And uh, then my summer heart attack really took this wind out of my sails. I'm not making excuses, although they are fine excuses. But um uh, I only managed to publish one novel last year and one collection, uh, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm going to give myself a pass. It's uh, and uh, this coming year I'm going to be way more careful. Trust me. Um, I guess we'll let you slide a little bit. Right. I also had the goal of um, producing two audiobooks. I only produced one. Um, I was supposed to go on two writers' retreats. I only went on one writers' retreat, and. Uh, I had the goal of doing four book signings. Interestingly enough, I I lost count on how many book signings that we did. Dave, how many was uh, it? It was a lot. It was. Yeah, no, we, we had the entire back half of the year uh, just stacked with the. Uh, yeah, it was probably event. like eight or ten. I don't know. It's like. And most crazy. of them we did together as a threesome, uh, splitting table costs, helping promote each other. Having my friends buy Marty's books annoyingly and having none of Marty's friends buy my books even more <laughs> annoyingly. But yeah, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, he does the same thing to me, man. We should do something about that. We should. We should gang up, Dave. You and yeah. me, man. <laughs> I also had the goal of four short stories. I actually did write uh, uh, five short stories last year. And I was going to lose an another 30 pounds. I did lose 11. I checked. So that was me. Um, it it was good to have goals, but I you know I was roughly fifty percent on my uh, hit list. Um, who wants to go next? I'll go next in fashion. Okay. Our order. So uh, yeah, read me the bill. Okay. Uh, number one was publish overboard. All right. Yes, I did do that. Great. You did do that. Long start, man. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. All Submit a new manuscript to your agent for a traditional publication. That is happening. That did not happen. Womp womp. But it's happening in quarter one. So hopefully not too far over the finish line. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Next one was publish a small book of poems in time for Christmas. Did not, 
did not happen. It, it's in time for next Christmas, though, if that's what I meant. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, that was next a, year. That we get, a we convey that on next year's list. Yeah. Uh, the next one, uh, the, the the remaining ones are non-writing goals. Uh, yeah. You had learn Spanish. Did not have to. I thought I would have to for my program, um, but I fought like hell and got my ASL accepted. So instead of learning Spanish, I got better at ASL. That's American Sign Language for acronym yeah, challenge American people. Sign. Yes. Right. So I'm going to call that a wash. I got better at one language rather than picking up another. Okay. Okay. Uh, online certification in Druidry. Druidry. Druidry did not happen. Womp womp. Wah, wah. And you had a uh, an addendum. Maybe start learning the banjo. I wish. I wish. That was also a womp womp. But I am looking forward to doing that possibly next year since I'll be out of school. So more time to learn things. Yeah, I mean, so kind of like you, Marty, I feel like I had sort of like a 50% success rate, which is, I guess, like if we're giving ourselves letter grades, that's an F. But I don't think that's the same scale when we're talking about these goals. You know, 50% is still better than zero. Yeah. Um, and for Overboard, I got all four formats done. So that includes hard, hardback and audiobook. And that was my first ever audiobook. So that's that's interesting for me anyway. That, that's, a, that's a milestone, which I've never done it before. Uh, myself, anyway. I've had publishers do it. But um, so that was an interesting thing I learned. Um, but yeah, so could have done better. I'm going to think about which ones are going to roll over to next year. But I got some new ones for next year. So let's keep it fresh. Uh, off right. to you, Dave. Great. I had, had to momentarily leave because one of my dogs decided to start barking. All right. Mark, I mean, hey, I did not have working. on my list get a dog. And I did and you got a dog. dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, we shouldn't put everything on our list. We should always have some spontaneity. <laughs> so, Dave, what do you got? I thought you were going to read my, my list. Oh, I, I'm happy to. Okay, okay, Dave, number one on your list was publish a novel. Oh, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Publish at least two anthologies. 50%. I got uh, Fantastic Detectives out. It's actually selling at a better rate than my uh, previous anthology. But uh, I had one anthology project kind of collapse over the pandemic, and I haven't managed to get that one alive. Uh, yet. Uh, so that's a goal for 2024. Next up is to appear in three additional anthologies. So I appeared in two anthologies, uh, Fantastic Detectives and uh, Solar Flare, uh, cyber, uh, um, hope, hope punk stories um, from uh, ZNB Press. However, the uh, uh, a third anthology did not materialize, so no on that one. <laughs> I got two thirds. I feel like uh, you would have gotten submit. that one though if it did materialize. So I'm gonna give you like a half pass. Mm. I'll cut off the P and just give you the rest of the. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I got funnier actually since the last podcast. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, next one is submit to at least three additional anthologies. I submitted to one. My story was accepted. That was a a full price, um, full author rate uh, acceptance. So uh, I got one out of three. Uh, I only I only got one submission out because I was working on other projects. Next one is produce seven novellas. <sighs> Two. <laughs> okay. So I, I added all this up and. Uh, uh, if we looked at each one of those goals, there were, there were what, six goals. I think my total percentage, some of them were half complete. Some of them were, were 0% complete. My overall percentage was 31%, which was not as high as I had hoped. Um, I think I was too ambitious on my goals. Number one. I and think you've got I, one more. Oh, here. oh <laughs> we got one. Your non-writing goal of lose 30 pounds. Yeah, two. <laughs> I love this. I like <laughs> Um It's good to have goals. Yeah, you can't yeah. be too ambitious, Dave. I no, think that's. I, I, I think will say, however, um, and, and I think for part of the year, I think I devoted a little bit too much time to the business side of things and not enough to the writing. Plus, I had one of my projects that kind of stalled. 
Um, but it's not as bad as it looks because A, I still got quite a bit of material out and B, I just had my best year ever in terms of uh, sales. Um, so I, I feel like this is the, this is honestly a year where I felt like I was running a serious business, bringing in money uh, on a regular basis. Um, and I turned around and pumped all of it right back into the business. So you'll be seeing those results in 2024 as well. Nice. I would say we're all kind of even on how we did. Do we agree? Yep. And our last well, goal was to continue the podcast. We did. We're at fifty percent on that one too. <laughs> yeah. Although for season four, we're gonna uh, try to switch up the format a little bit. We probably won't be weekly. Um, but Less we, is more. We will um, still try to try to hit it monthly or something. We'll sort. Well, I we'll think sort we're trying to emulate some of the things that we did in some of our best podcasts. Yep. And and do you know, more, uh, more full featured content, uh, which requires a bit more work. So it's going to be a little bit less often. And that, that seems like a fair exchange to me. Yep. So 2024, um, moving on to 2024, our goals that we desire for this year. Um, I guess I'll go first. I'm uh, simplifying these goals to uh, make them more targetable. I, uh, I'll i start easy. Um, I'm planning two writer's retreats. I have my first writer's retreat already scheduled and uh, organized for the end of February and uh, beginning of March. I'm excited for that. Uh, the next writer's retreat will be in the autumn. I am hoping to go uh, visit my brother again in California and stay in his guest house for 10 days. That'd be great. Um, uh, my biggest uh, goals for this year is I, I'm i planning on publishing four novels this year. It's one per quarter. And I know it sounds ambitious, but the interesting thing is that I didn't talk about in 2023, I did finish the first draft of two of these novels. So it's not it's not as big a stretch as it, it sounds like because I'm I'm close on on two of them already. And the third one will be I, I plan on hammering through the entire first draft of the third one in my spring writers retreat. So that will be, you know, I will have uh, three first drafts in the can um, before the end of March. So I think that it's it's not as ambitious as it sounds. I've already got the covers for all four of those books. It's uh, I just need to apply discipline and just keep at it. I am uh, working on the uh, uh, final draft of the first of those four, and I'm hoping to finish the final draft uh, in the next, oh, two weeks, three weeks, you know, I'd rather have it right than right now. Uh, but it, that one's been really, really fun to uh, uh, to write. So, and the last one is um, I'm going to, I'm going to write two more short reads. I'm, I'm kind of following Dave's novella kind of uh, action here. And I've been enjoying writing the 20,000 word. Um, they're not so short stories, but, yeah, and then recently releasing format. them in four by seven paperback format. And uh, so I got that going this, this, this year too. I'm uh, almost finished with the first draft of the first one of those. And uh, it's been really fun writing those and uh, publishing those. And uh, I'll add the non-writing goal at the end that I re really do want to lose 30 pounds this year, honestly. <laughs> so uh, so that's it for me. Jay, what about you? All right. Um, ambitious year ahead of me. But I'm going to go for it because, you know, worst that could happen is I do two out of seven novellas or whatever or one or whatever novel. Um First is to 
get my manuscript from my agent, which was the goal from last uh, year, which I hope to get done like in the next week or two. Uh, second is to publish a children's book, which is called Perfect Pierre about my service dog, my current service dog. Um, it's kind of a continuation of my, my uh, children's book from a long time ago. And I wrote a cute one about him. Um, third is to publish one indie novel. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to tackle yet. I have I have an idea, but I'm going to take a closer look at two two of them and decide between them. Uh, fourth, get that poetry book out. This is getting very scary for me. I'm I'm already shivering. Uh, but two of them are quite short. The, the children's book and the poetry book. So I'm hoping that that will abbreviate the editing time and, and there won't be an audio book for them. So it will be a little less intensive. Um, that is all as far as writing wise. Personal, I, I, I don't even know if I dare speak it aloud. I, I, I have to graduate one way or another. So whether that involves fairly passing my exams, we have to graduate. So uh, I'll put that on there and I'm gonna speak it into existence because I'm nervous about those exams, but I, I hope that I hope to do all right. So graduate and uh, I think I'll leave it at that. I think I'll say the other stuff is gravy. Dave? Graduation is good. All right, okay. for me, uh, let's see. Um, I, I separate things in a, into a couple of different categories. Uh, first is completing stories. Uh, that doesn't mean they're published. That means that they are uh, complete and, and ready to go to the next stage. Uh, so I'm looking at finishing uh, four stories in 2024. Uh, one of them will be a novel. I'm looking at publishing uh, three books in 2024. Again, one of those will be the novel. Um, I'm looking at producing four audiobooks in 2024. Uh, this is this is new ground for me, uh, and I can thank uh, Marty for all the lessons uh, having to do with uh, getting set up on ACX and, and everything. So that should be quite the adventure. I'm looking at doing uh, at least one per quarter, and I'm looking at getting an anthology out. That would be the uh, previously mentioned anthology that melted down during the pandemic, which uh, I have stories, I have signed contracts, and by God, I'm going to get going to get the damn thing published. That's all there is to it. So those are my primary goals. Uh, I can't think of a real personal goal, although there's always the ever-present, Dave should probably lose a few pounds. The personal but, goals are scary. I don't like those. But <laughs> the problem is Dave Probably likes to eat too much, and he likes restaurants. Fair. And he likes snacks. And I, I just you get I, it. Yeah, <laughs> I want to take a, a a couple of seconds to talk to our viewers. Hopefully, it's plural about um our whims, our weekly accountability meetings, because all the the weekly goals that we set should now, gentlemen, they should now like chew away at these big ones, which I think is interesting. So, um, you know, we do, it, it has replaced the podcast, it eclipsed the podcast, and we just sort of do what we just did, but on a micro level, and talk about weekly bite-sized, you know, what are we accomplishing uh, this week? And it's been really uh, effective. I feel, we all feel it's been pretty effective. Uh, Definitely because we makes it easier to eat the elephant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's it's working for me big time. So I, I mean, even it works even better than these these big episodes because I I forgot about some of my goals that you know that you guys read out loud. Um, so it's good to have a weekly. Uh, so I encourage people who are watching if they like this kind of format thing um, to consider doing a weekly accountability meeting among your peers like we've been doing. Yep. So it's 2024 and. Uh... No flying cars yet. <laughs> no, but, uh, we're slacking. But I, but let's uh, be honest. Do you really want Washington D.C. drivers, where we're kind of located at, driving in three dimensions? Like over your head. I don't want them to do it. I just want to do it. Well, yeah. okay, that's different. 
or automation. I want to drift out of my garage and then just tell the thing, let's yep. go see Niagara Falls and then I can take a nap. And and look, I don't want AI driving my car. Have you seen the 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 stuff that AI has been doing this year? I mean, well, AI has been crashing the cars. So. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, AI is going to be a growing issue worth watching in 2024. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I prefer, uh, to call them, I prefer to call it a plagiarism engine. Thank you. Yep. It's uh, it's really interesting the developments in that in that arena. Um, uh, the developments in you know AI natural audiobook narration. That's been a big thing that's going to be a big issue in 2024. Um, AI cover design, that's going to be a big issue in 2024. Um, plagiarism, plagiarism engine, indeed. So we'll see where that goes. I, I saw somebody online there like, I, 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 I generated this really cool image with AI, um, but you guys can't use it. And Everybody piled on him and said, you do, do realize you generated it with an AI tool, so it can't be copyrighted. So any of us can do whatever the hell we want with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the scary part is, is there's, you know, people are developing tools where it can obscure the existence of AI influence over images and text to... Uh, hide the fact that that happened so news will not be reliable works. you know it's yeah arms race but anyway you know, <laughs> i'm still gonna drink coffee and make stuff up that's yeah, right I, I think that's a whole podcast like podcast positive, positive note positive note um happy new year thanks for tuning in again if you stuck around and if you're new to us thanks for tolerating us we like being here um and hopefully we'll see a little bit more of you this year. Yep. And we'll see what happens. And see the wild four. ride. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Maybe. All right. Maybe. <laughs> Chowder. <laughs>